Hello, my little pickled yams. I am the Ronin Pawn. And I got a box. I got a box here. And I've got an implement of destruction here. So let's see what I just got in the mail today. Oh my god, the cat! <laughs> Unboxing live on the Ronin Pawn channel. Except we're not live streaming. This is recorded. People keep sending me these. I don't need these. Send me actual products. Yeah. Oh wait, here's something. The flexible tripod from Sabrin. Fine product available at Amazon.com, which is where I purchased it. Not a sponsor, not, I'm just, I, I, I bought this, because this is too tall. Sabrin's flexible tripod for GoPro Hero 4, 3 Plus, 3, 2, and 1 is um, removable and rubberized and um, uneven. I buy it today. You know, the ironic part of this is that if I actually already had this thing, then this this shot would, would be that much better. Let's put it through the rigors. First test, durability. Well, it's only partially broken. It's actually surprisingly lightweight. I didn't think that it would be this, um, whoa. Okay, is it supposed to do that? It's just a tripod, put the camera up here, stretch out the three legs, and then, you know, you can set the camera somewhere. But, okay, this particular design, which a lot of people are making these days, also can do stuff like that. Can do stuff like, yeah, baby, yeah, I don't know why you'd ever want to do that, but I mean, if you did, you, you, could, you could do that. Hang on, more durability tests. It's sound. The virtue of a design like this is just a bunch of little balls that are actually, you can pop them out and pop them back in, but uh, the flexibility that this has allows you to do some pretty cool things. First off, you use it as a tripod, but you could bend all of the legs so that your tripod is actually at, you know, crazy angles. The really cool feature is to treat it like something that you'd find in Peter Parker's bag and wrap it around a pole. There you go. You got all three of them twisted around a pole like that and just you know, muscled in. They've all got uh, rubber linings around the edges of all of the balls, so just don't take that out of context. You can do weird and cool stuff with it anyway. Mainly though, for me, I just wanted kind of a short handheld tripod, and as long as you're buying a short handheld tripod, might as well buy a, you know, goofy ass one. This particular make and model comes with two options for mounting. Uh, on the top, you'll find a 3 8 inch threaded screw that the camera refuses to focus on no matter how many takes I try to get it to go. Come on, camera, up here. You got yourself a 3 8 inch screw. Most camera equipment does not actually meet and fit on a 3 8 inch screw. That's why you get yourself a screwdriver and you can actually unscrew this thread to reveal below this thread a standard conventional quarter inch threading which is what my camera takes and what most people's camera takes and what most things will mount on. So, I got it ready. If only I had a camera or something I could attach to. While I'm at it, I'll show you what I have been using. Uh, so this is my monopod. I don't have a proper tripod, but this thing works for most scenarios and it's just a single rail that goes down to these three little flimsy legs. It's not really designed to be a sturdy tripod. These legs actually are foldable, collapsible. If you unscrew the thing, they actually mount back up into the monopod itself. And uh, another thing that's interesting, these are geese. Or rather, teenage goslings and a protective mother, father. How do, how do you know? Excuse me, sir, madam, what have you got down there? Something that I think is kind of cool about the monopod that I hadn't seen before is that this has a 3 8 inch um, threaded screw as well, but it's spring-loaded, and when you compress it, it reveals a quarter inch, so you can mount whatever kind of equipment that you might want onto it. This, by the way, is a Manfrotto, distributed by Bogan, made in Italy, and found by my father in a dumpster. Because I don't have money, I just have gear. Other people's gear. Camera, meet tripod. Tripod, meet camera. You guys are going to make sweet babies together. I say sweet babies, of course, because we all like our babies dipped in honey barbecue sauce, don't we? Just imagine how much better the footage of this unboxing might have been had I already had this tripod. You can use it as a selfie stick. Yeah, I'd get at least an extra eight inches out of this. 
And that's something I don't usually say. What? Remember that thing I said about being able to mount a camera to a pole? Have a look at you. Look at you. You're just clinging to that pole, aren't you? Nice and steady. Not even, not even bothered by all that weight. Oh, you need to touch up your makeup? Go for it, hon. Pretty sure this cost me 10 or 12 dollars on Amazon. And uh, it's a cheap plastic thing that I can literally pop apart. Uh, the fact that it comes apart and can be put back together, 10 or 12 bucks, that's a good little tripod. And it comes with mounting hardware for the GoPro, which I don't have and don't expect to get anytime soon. It was just, you know, why not? Because you can get one thing that does two things for $10. Why not? A better question is how could you possibly pass up such an incredible deal available at Amazon.com today? Not a sponsored product. Still durable, though. So I enjoy eating. What's it to you?